Hello, welcome back to Outmouse Labs. My name is Penny and I'm glad you're here. Uh, you can consider this part five of our tutorial series on building a shooting gallery in Dragon Ruby, or just think of it as a quick addendum. What we're gonna be doing quickly is publishing our game. So we're gonna build it for multiple platforms and then we're gonna publish it to itch.io. All right, so first thing we need to do is we need to go to the metadata um, game underscore metadata.txt file of our game. When you first go into it, all of these uh, pieces here will have a hashtag and a space. It says in the instructions, remove the pound sign and leading space for the properties below before publishing your game. So I have removed the hashtag and space and I filled in my itch.io username, the name I want to publish under, the game ID, which does not contain any spaces, which is DR shooting gallery, the title, Dragon Ruby Shooting Gallery, which has but can have spaces, the version, I've changed it to 1.0, and the icon I'm leaving alone. The icon is here in the metadata folder. You can make it whatever you want. This is the default one, which is fine with me for now. Okay, once you're happy with that, you're gonna save it. And then you're gonna open up a terminal by going to terminal, new terminal. It'll open up here at the bottom. If you're in the My, app, My Game app, you need to type in cd space dot dot to go up one level. So you're in the shooting gallery or whatever your game's called, main folder. There is a exe there called Dragon Ruby uh, publish.exe. So we're going to run that and we're going to apply the flag dash dash only package. And you just hit enter. It's going to do a whole lot of things. It's building it for multiple platforms. It only takes a moment for a small game like this, so it should just finish up here. There we go. Logging and shutting down, which means everything worked properly. We are going to go into our shooting gallery folder, then builds. This is all the things it built for. If you click on the one for your operating system, in my case Windows, it's going to boot it up. It's going to play just like it did before. It's going to feel very much the same. I'll go ahead and close that. We're going to go into HTML5 because we're going to post to itch.io. We're going to go take a look in here and we're going to see all the files we need. We're going to make sure we see index.html. I'm going to hit control A to select everything. Right click and I'm going to use 7-zip to add to an archive. And I'm going to add it to this one right here, which is dr shooting gallery html 5 1.0 zip. That's the zip file that itch needs. Then I'm going to open up itch.io. Um, if I wasn't already here, I would have gone to my username, dashboard, create new. I'm giving the title, a project URL, a basic description. I am saying that it is an HTML game that is ran in the browser. Then I am going to delete the one I actually already put. So we'll go ahead and upload again. We'll hit upload files. Go to my folder that contains it, go to the zip, wait for it to finish uploading. We're going to say this file will be played in the browser. We're going to embed it. It is a 1280 by 720 window. We're going to allow it to be full screened and we have to turn on the shared array buffer support. Uh, this is required for uh, Dragon Ruby games that are made with Dragon Ruby 4.16 or higher uh, that are going to be used in itch. We're going to put in some details, so I just put in some basics about what it is, how to play it, and then a link to the YouTube series that this that you're watching. And I filled in the basics. I'm going to leave it in draft. I'm going to hit save. I'm going to go to view page. I'm going to hope that it works, so <laughs> we're all going to find out together here. We're going to hit run game. It's thinking about it. Created with Dragon Ruby. Tap to begin, and there is our game. We can play it, and we'll try the full screen. We can put it in full screen. Okay. When the timer runs out, it's going to stop. We're going to hit escape to leave full screen. Everything looks nice. It has all of our basic information. Um, quickly, since this is a, uh, oh, like a, a pixel art game, I am going to change it to the pixel format. I just think it looks a little bit nicer for a game like this and we're going to hit save and once it's saved we're going to go back in here and if you have any screenshots or youtube videos of course you can add them i'll do that off screen uh, once we're happy with it we are simply going to hit public and save 
and view our page and this is what the world can see they can play your game you can direct your friends to it and there you are in approximately an hour you can have go from a blank text document to a fully functional game so i really hope that you're excited about dragon ruby i hope this was helpful to you once again like and subscribe we're going to be doing more of this thank you so much